being a developer is awesome. Here's five reasons why I love being a developer and you'll probably love them too. So I, uh, I've been a developer for almost eight years. I started my career off as a technical evangelist at Microsoft. It was actually really fortunate to get the role that I got at Microsoft and to start with such an amazing company. And I say I'm a developer. I think it's interesting to note that like I'm not, I haven't been a traditional software developer for the majority of my career. I was a technical evangelist. Now I'm a developer advocate. In the middle, I had three years of actually being a software developer, but I've written lots of code. So I, I mean, I'm a developer uh, regardless of what the actual title is. And I've loved it. I still, to this day, am excited about writing code. I'm excited about solving problems. I'm excited about the world of being a developer that I live in. So I figured I would share my top five reasons why I love being a developer. If you're new to the channel, uh, my name is James Hewick, and I do one to two to sometimes three videos per week on web development related content. And in this one, we're going to talk about, again, why I love being a developer, specifically a web developer. It's a little bit cooler to be a web developer versus a developer. So let's just kick this off with number one. And this may not be a surprise, but number one is the money. And lots of people have conversations about, uh, like you don't need to have passion to, to be a developer. You can just do it because you want the money. And I like, I kind of disagree with that. I think you should be excited about whatever job you do, but the money absolutely certainly does not hurt. And the cool thing with uh, development or programming jobs or being a developer is there's always lots of jobs. If you think about where the world is going, every company has a website, every company has a mobile app, every company has some sort of technology behind it. And there's an interesting quote that lots of people use of every tech or every company is a tech company uh, because they all have that stuff. They have to have those things to be successful. So they need developers. And because of that, it's a very sought off, sought after, sought after career, and uh, people with those skill sets are very sought after, which means you end up making a lot of money. And uh, this can obviously range a lot from wherever you are, but if you're a new developer, um, 50, 60, 70, uh, $80,000 is what you can potentially start at as a developer. Again, depending on the market and where you're at, you can easily move into six figures. And that's a pretty cool thing. Like I grew up, my family, my parents combined made like less than less than 50,000 and a lot of times probably less than 40,000 and now I make over six figures myself as a developer and that's a game changer for me coming from not a whole lot of money uh to now doing like pretty well for myself because of my skills as a developer is really nice so if you're interested in being a developer you're wondering if you should uh the money is not everything but the money is actually really nice and it is a big perk of being a developer all right, number two, my, my uh, second reason, these are not necessarily in any order, by the way, uh, but it never gets old. And uh, if you think about technology, like technology is evolving every single day. And in the web development space specifically, there's the joke that there's like every day there's a new JavaScript framework. And it's kind of true, to be honest. And that can seem a little bit overwhelming for people who are learning and they get distracted by they don't really know what to learn. And they go from one thing to the next and they don't really learn any one thing that well. That is part of like a potential problem, but the, the beauty of that is it never gets old. There's always something to learn. There's always something exciting new on the horizon. I'm the kind of person that I don't want to just do the same thing every day for the rest of my lives. There are people that do that. I would kind of argue that they've more just settled maybe than uh, they actually specifically just enjoy doing the same thing every day because I think we all like to mix it up a little bit, but for me personally, I don't want to do the same thing every day. I don't want to work on the same project every day. I don't want to write the same type of code every day. I want to learn. I want to evolve. I want to do more. And there's no better industry than technology, than being a developer to do that, to continue to learn, to continue to push yourselves, to continue to just be a part of cool things as they get created. The the technology ramp, the the increase in technology, the evolution of technology is just becoming more and more exponential and that just comes with more exciting changes and new things out there for us to learn and be a part of. So that is one of my favorite reasons of being a developer is it, it never gets old. There's always something new for me to learn, always something new for me to do. Now, lesson number three here, or not lesson number three, reason number three is uh, more of a practical thing for me that's kind of similar to what we just talked about, but it's the idea of problem solving. And if you think about a lot of jobs, a lot of jobs, you can not really be challenged. You can just kind of sit there. Maybe it's doing the same thing every day, or maybe it's not necessarily doing the same thing every day. But if you're not challenged in your job, you're kind of missing something, at least for me. If I'm not challenged, I feel like I'm missing out. I feel like I need to be doing something that is 
learning and pushing. And that's all development is. You get a problem and then you figure out how to solve it and you get creative and you learn more about different tools and you come up with better solutions to build things. But there's nothing cooler for me than like having a problem. And some of this could just be like personal stuff. A, a thing that I hacked on that I'm going to create a video on is these lights back here uh, doing Twitch chat commands to be able to turn them on and off and change colors and stuff. Like I had a problem or I had something that I wanted to build and I did it. I solved that problem by learning the different things that I needed to know. So the fact that it never gets old, there's always new things to learn, but then just the idea of solving a problem of having something being creative and then pushing myself to be able to do it and doing that with other people and learning from them as well is really one of my favorite things. I love solving problems, even going back to uh, myself as a, as a kid in elementary school and middle school, we had like logic puzzles and problems in our, uh, like we called it clue, but uh, we had those sorts of like creative puzzles. I always love those. And that's all programming is, is like, you've got a problem, figure out how to solve it. And that is really exciting to me. All right, number four here is something I've talked a lot about um, in a lot of different ways. And I might do a dedicated video on this, but it's the idea of becoming a producer versus a consumer. And what I mean is as a consumer, you have a phone, you have mobile apps, you have websites, you have uh, like a ring doorbell or what, like whatever technology you have. As a consumer, you just consume those things. You just kind of accept this is how they are. This is what we have. This is how I use it. As a producer though, you transform your mindset. And now I look at an app or a, a website and I think, oh wow, now that I have the skills to do that, I could do that myself. I could change that. I could make it better. I could do it differently. I can actually produce stuff. And that's such an empowering mentality to have to think about. We talked about this in our, our class last night with Launch Code. Like the world is literally your oyster. Talking about problem solving, whatever problem is out there, you can probably solve it or help solve it or help address it or help make it better by being a producer, by taking the skills that you have as a developer and using those to build something. It doesn't matter what it is. You can build almost anything. So no longer are you just accepting the world for how it is. You're looking at the world and you're saying, I could do that better. or I could do that differently. I could build that thing myself. And there's no more empowering mentality to have than to be a producer and not just a consumer of technology. All right, the last thing here, this is maybe one of the most personal to me. And this builds on some of the ones that we talked about so far. It's this idea of empowering an entrepreneurial mindset. So what we talked about a second ago was like becoming a producer. You look at the world differently. You look at how you could create stuff and create it differently. Well, not only can you do that, not only are you empowered to do that, you're also empowered to potentially make that a business. Like you have the tools to build any business you want, really. Whatever the, if it's a software business, fine. If it's just, if it's selling t-shirts, now you have the skills to build a site and an e-commerce platform to be able to sell those things. And you can build tools to, to uh, do some automation and some tracking and some invoicing and all this stuff. Like you can become an entrepreneur and I get to do that every day. Like I don't make a ton of money off YouTube ads, but by me creating videos on development and me being tech savvy to know how to, to learn how to record and edit and do all these things, I get to make money off that. I get to take what I know as a developer, package it up, and then create a course and make money off that. I could do freelance work. I've only done a little bit of this, but I could do freelance work to build someone a site or a mobile app. That's a very empowering thing to look at your skills and not just see that someone or a company would pay you for your skills, but that your skills are worth money regardless of any company out there. By doing freelance, by creating your own products, by building your own uh, SaaS software product, whatever it is, entrepreneurial mindset is one of the things that's literally changed my life of being around other people, seeing how they look at the world with a producer mindset, seeing a niche, seeing an issue in the world and saying, I can tackle that thing and I can do it better than anything that's out there. And I can build my life around it. I work for a company off zero that started in 2013. And I don't know like a ton about that history because I've only been there now a year, but that came from the two founders looking at there's not a solution that does this thing and does this thing well, and they've built a billion dollar company around it, and I get to work for them, which is really cool. So as a developer, you have the ability to build all of these things. You can be a producer, you can solve problems. It never gets old because there's always something new. You can get paid money as a developer, as a salary, but also you can have an entrepreneurial mindset to take control of your life, to take control of your income, to build up something for yourself, even if it's just additional side income, 
You can do all of that stuff with these skills. These skills are incredibly val valuable. And a couple of these things, especially the producer, especially the entrepreneurial mindset, are things that have literally changed the way that I look at the world almost every single day. So those are five reasons why I personally love being a developer. I could talk about this all day. If you have any other questions or if you have other reasons why you love being a developer yourself, throw them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, if this helped you out at all, or maybe gave you a little bit of inspiration to go out there and create something yourself, uh, give a like to the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so that you can see new videos as they come out every week. And thanks again for checking out the video and I'll catch you in the next one.